it is. Out. Very nice. All right, first win of the day for him. That's very really important, important, confident wise. Crucial if he is to. And now it's the Nidorf. Uh, he uh, or the classical Sicilian. Um, he goes uh, away from his standard e5 move. Yeah. Look at Jan Sebastian's face from Tato Sarana. He was probably not happy with that game. He was not. Uh, he didn't show very much happiness. No. Probably the most crushing game of the day. Uh, sadly, it's not enough. Arian. He needs three more to even the score. Three more. And this is Damn, uh, that's so hard though. Already slightly comfortable for Black, I would say. I mean, isn't this just uh, equal? You tell if me. You, if you manage to play d5 in this uh, variation, then it, it should be it should be okay. The format is best out of 10, uh, so it's first to 5.5 points, wins the entire match, and the time control is 3 plus 2. Yeah, so Johann Sebastian Christiansen is only one win away from, um, from taking this match, but... But uh, Arian uh, struck back in the last, uh, last game, so we'll see if we can keep the momentum going and... Taking another <laughs> another win here. Yes, and Madeline wants, of course, to play c4 with white and suck some heavy dust yes. off the board. Uh, just trade everything off and uh, see who has the better stamina in the end. The so called vacuum cleaner. Yes, it's a stamina based variation. Then. Yes. Um. Okay, so it's comfortable for black. You have a. Um, How comfortable is it? Pawn majority on the king side, which looks uh, nice in the end game. You want to trade off all the rooks? It at least one. It may one very rook. well happen here. At least one rook. At but, least uh, one rook. Okay. You have this square, and it's slightly, uh, slightly inconvenient. You could uh, play b6. Yeah, that's not too weakening, is it? Okay, bishop c8 now, I guess. Seems necessary. Uh, might not be good because bishop c4 is a torment. Of course, we have a fis fisheresque uh, move here as yes, well. Yes, you could also grab, but that might be the last thing you do in the game. Uh, in the match. Okay, so you could take, you could play bishop d5, he takes. That's not really a... Oh, okay. You could, uh, you could. Yeah, but do you really win anything by doing this? At least this looks very comfortable for black. So, oh yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, I was uh, thinking B, B4 is not possible because, okay, so king c1, rook d5, b4, and you just take it. Yeah, you, uh, probably easier to take on c6, take, but. Take. Uh, yeah, but yeah, for, you, well, for but, white, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, but you don't, you don't want to do that, so but I guess that's a small win for black. If you take on. Uh huh. So. Rook d5, bishop here. And now you take here, on c5 and. Uh, then bishop e4, yeah, and f5. You cover c2. f5, maybe? Okay, so now this pawn is starting to look a little bit more grabbable. I'm yes. not too sure though. Yeah. Very nice term, that. Grabbable. Grabbable. Grabbable yeah, yeah. pawns. We love grabbable pawns, guys. Yes. B5, very nice move just to restrict white's pawn majority. And of course, Arian wants to get these ones going to use his own majority on the king side not easy to win this no i, I would say slight advantage for black at least it's more comfortable but it's not easy to win this at all you and ludwig is not playing much these days uh, i'm afraid that's that's correct i'm not saying he's really retired but semi-retired maybe yeah I... he's not playing much last he played was in january I think. Yeah, in Kagura. Yes. Didn't go fantastic. No, it went quite poorly. Went down the toilet. Yes. yes literally so. down. No, I don't know if it's literally. Um, <laughs> figuratively. Yes. At least figuratively, yes. We, we yeah. can't confirm the other one. No. But it <laughs> might have happened as well. Might. Not ruling it out. Okay. Uh, G5 is a move. H5 is a move. Probably not H5 because of H4. We're restricting the majority. Okay. Rook D5 seems fine. Mm hmm. Hmm. Question is. Do you want to do something with these pawns or do you want to leave yet, it there? Not yet, I think. But B4 is B4 maybe is coming. B4 is a move from white, yes. Looks annoying. But I would say B4 is an accomplishment for white, but. But maybe. Hmm. Rook, I mean, you can take and play rook d4, or even rook d4 immediately. Mm -hmm. But do you... Hmm. 
I'm not sure how to evaluate this. B4 looks like a nice move for white, but at the same time, how to proceed? Because now you're sort of stuck with your king on c3. I'm not sure how to evaluate how this. How come? Yeah, you cannot... Okay, rook b1 is useful because now you're threatening to take on a5, so... If you take on b4, do you take back with the rook or the pawn? Hmm. I guess black is not... Taking with the rook, then I could play rook d5, right? You gotta do something here. You gotta play a4 or take. I because would, I you cannot, you cannot allow... B takes a5, I think. No, I, at least you're okay. He does allow because, okay, because you have of, this resource. Yeah, but then you take on b5. So I think king c5 first. King c5 first. Yes. Yes. And rook b4. I. This does not look good for black, but okay. He spends some time to to uh, regain the pawn maybe this was a uh, genius yes but what about a4 a4 yeah i can take it uh, at least Rook you C4. can but it uh, uh, looks like i have to take it but uh, but then rook c4 uh, and yeah. king d5 king d5 Oh, a6 first. a6 first. a6 is now covered, and uh, doesn't this just r run up the board? Uh, what? What is going on? Is this the match? <laughs> this might be uh, the, the winning move in the match. Is this the match? <laughs> what about rook b6? a7. Bishop c6. Ah, okay. Then rook c4 maybe? <laughs> Check. Everything works for white now. Looks like Arian tricked himself here. Bishop c6. Um, he did trick himself. Wow. a7. Still rook c4 is a threat. So Yeah, then rook d8. Rook d8. But okay. then rook b8. Oh god. No, this is just over. I think this is just over. He, he, okay, he plays rook c4. Ah, that's... That is surprising. Because now king a7 is a move. Takes on f5 though, so... Consolidating. Take on h7, play bishop d3. I think he had it there. I think he could have gone for a7. I think so, yeah. Curtains, according to Benjamin Haldorsen. I'm not too sure about the curtains anymore, though. This could turn into a draw, no? King b6, yeah. What about bishop b5? h6, needs to cover this one. Bishop b5? Yeah. yeah, he does play it. Grab, grab. Grab, grab party, yeah. Eight seconds to go for around. That's not his main concern in this position. A3, smart, uh, might be a smart choice, but how about just taking on taking I think on you H6? can just take on H6. Takes this one. A2, rookie one. Well, you have a check and go back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, might be a safe option, actually. Me. I'm I'm not sure how the that end game. Took on e5, if. a2. Okay, it took. Uh, yeah, that five. pawn can not be taken. No, have to watch out for this one. Yeah, I guess rook e2. Yeah, but now I'm not so sure. I mean, okay, this uh, rook will go to d1. G1, king b3. Okay, so uh, starting to look like a draw. This, even though uh, white will win the pawn. How clear is it? What? Okay, uh -huh. he will go to a5. That's actually super smart maneuvering from Ariel. Yeah, it could go to e3 as well, though. Mm. Actually. Go, go back. But if you just uh, keep your king close to the pawn, should yeah. be uh, fairly easy to save this, right? Whoa, but is it? Yeah, maybe. Why not? Just, just not go to f4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> don't, don't blunder the mate. So we expect this to be a if, draw. If a draw, then uh, Jan Sebastian still needs another draw to win because yeah. it's the best out of ten. So first to five and a half. First to five and a half. So this, of course, depends on whether Jan Sebastian can get his king into Black's position. Does not look like it right now. It's looking good for Jan Sebastian. No, not looking so good for Ariel. Yeah, there is only there are only two results here possible. It's either win for white or a draw. But yeah. I don't know which one do you think? I'm guessing a draw. But uh, in terms of the match, I mean these two guys are so evenly matched normally, and Arian is usually slightly better in 
in classical. Uh, Johan Sebastian Oof. is known to be very good in, in blitz. Um, so far, the score has been uh, quite clear. I mean, it's it's really been Over, Johan Sebastian's Overwhelming day. results. I would say so. But that can happen if you're not really sharp in blitz, though. It's it's all about uh, how you're feeling on the day and, and so forth. So. Yeah, I guess they should just take the draw here. Yeah, Arjan has 30 seconds. That's uh, more than enough. Uh, Jan Sebastian probably wants to to try for a Push bit. Push a little longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what uh, Alcius points out here is true. Uh, if this turns into a draw, then Arjan needs four wins in a row. Mm. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's not possible. No. Yeah. Implausible? Is that a word? Improbable. Improbable, that's the word. Okay, so I think we've had this position before. There's no real uh, Impossible, I, I like that though. Yeah, <laughs> I like it too. I don't really care if it's not a word. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you could go to e6 with his king, but then f3 would be weak, right? So just rook f1 after. Rook f1. Is there any position here where... And it's a drop. Okay. It's a drop. <laughs>